Hello everyone, and thank you so much for joining us as we continue our D&D campaign across Delos. And just a reminder, we do play this live on Twitch, so if you ever want to see any of the shenanigans unfold right as they happen, feel free to come join us. I always put a link to the stream down in the description below. And also a reminder that all of our players are fellow streamers. They are all amazing uh, content creators, so please go check them out on Twitch. You won't regret it. So just one little note with these next several videos, uh, normally what I'll do is I'll, I'll go through them all, all the way, start to finish, and do a lot of editing as far as like cutting out coughs, rules looking up, things like that, just to kind of help speed it along. Uh, and so it's just kind of like the straight D&D goodness. However, what's kind of happened is, is I've got this really big backlog of videos, and I feel really bad because I haven't been able to get them out to y'all. So what I'm going to do is just essentially just upload them, just sort of raw, no editing, aside from maybe chopping off the front and the, the back of it, just because there's just a lot of like banter and goofing around with chat and with the group that doesn't really pertain to the session um, and that way we can kind of get all these videos uploaded and then after that I'm gonna try to go back to editing them all again we'll kind of see just because of again they, they take me a little too long to get through uh, but we'll kind of see what my time constraints are when that time comes but enough of that we're gonna get right to it there was um so you guys were in the, for the festival in the capital you guys were in a giant courtyard in front of the castle, uh, waiting for the king to make a speech. Uh, he didn't appear, uh, and instead, uh, the statue of Hades, uh, a, a large crack, uh, sort of like a long gash, kind of appeared on his chest, uh, and spirits began, began to fly out of it. Um, during the commotion, you guys approached the statue to take a look at it and investigate it, and you noticed that there seemed to be some sort of golden ichor coming out of the large gash. Um, Nyla had the idea to pour a healing potion on it, and it was absorbed into the statue. Uh, with a, <clears throat> and you guys noticed a very minor effect that it was starting to kind of heal the gash. Um, very, very small, uh, but noticeable. Uh, and then after after that happened, they felt sort of a a holy warmth uh, kind of fill their body uh, and then uh, Varian offered up a rhubarb pie and had the same effect and I don't remember what Alaran offered up if anything All right, uh, uh, ring or a, or a so something silver <coughs> or a silver earring stuff. no not my earrings okay no. might have been a ring no. <laughs> it was some sort of piece of silver jewelry um, it also had the same effect. Uh, and after yeah, you guys were kind of wondering about that, a, uh, <clears throat> a very old, old little halfling man named Dr. Rat showed up. <laughs> uh, named by, uh, it's, it's a top tier name given by Bear. Uh, and, uh, he suggested they go talk to one of the local, uh, priests. Uh, and then... Uh, the this sort of people in these purple robes with uh, golden uh, eyes sort of sigiled onto them uh, showed up and dumped a bunch of bodies that the spirits flew into uh, creating zombies that the party had to fight off uh, afterwards they were able to get a few questions in to one of the purple robed people uh, before uh, he died <coughs> and you guys went to the church passing dr rat on the way because you had sent him to go talk to him uh to, to get the priest and dr rat is may not be the fastest little halfling but he was doing his best and you guys ended the session uh you guys run a church uh quick question yes that i forgot to ask last time uh purple robe people did they have like an eye icon on their robes they do, yes. Okay. I think, yeah, it was, I think you said that. Yeah, I forgot to ask them. At the beginning of the whole ordeal, when we were first starting to see them pop up. There you guys go. That's Dr. Rat. Fair enough. Boom. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful drawing. My terrible, terrible sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Steve. So proud. Thanks. Terrible doodle. Can't believe you have it on the hand, <laughs> ready to go. I was doodling on my my D and D notes. 
while playing D and D. So, <laughs> <coughs> and I'll have two campaigns of stuff accidentally mixed together because I have the wrong notebook. <coughs> uh, yeah, what do you what do you guys want to do? You guys are inside a church. Uh, there are uh, tons of people inside. Um, some that you kind of recognize from the courtyard that you were in, um, that it kind of came to seek shelter uh, from the commotion. Is Thanks. Dr. Rat nearby? Uh, as you guys are kind of looking around, Dr. Rat finally arrives behind you. It's like, oh, how did you get here so fast? <laughs> we walked. Step by step. Oh, you must have teleported. Nobody could have passed me, Dr. Rat. <laughs> you just take one step at a time, and apparently there's no need to rush. That's why I've got the flames on my walker, to show that I'm fast. <laughs> Dr. Rat, sir. Yes. <clears throat> uh, will you still relay our message? Uh, he's going to give you a little salute. Like, of, of course. Anything to or help. Or maybe you could just point us towards who to relay it to, and then we can do it. I, I priest. We <coughs> get it. <coughs> he he's gonna kind of look around, uh, and he's gonna kind of point one sort of old, uh, wrinkly finger uh, towards uh, a gentleman uh, who who's in some some priestly robes, kind of talking to, to little clusters of people, trying to reassure them that it's going to be okay. Excuse me. Uh, that that man here runs this, this, this fine church. Well, let's go have a chat then. Maybe he knows what to do with the, the bleeding out statues. Yeah, that's weird, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's... it's, it's... Is that is that like a maybe? Like well, maybe it's like I mean, I don't have the song reference. I have no idea what she's talking about. Maybe it's like a cultural thing. Is it a I tradition? I judging by people's reactions, I don't think it's a tradition. Do they just make jello molds of the statues and then just statue at the outside of it, or? Though, to look on the bright side, uh, therein. I think I think your pie has earned you favor with Hades. It, it seemed like oh, it was taken very well. Oh shoot! I don't have my list of random names. Hmm. Well then, I'm not going to argue with that. So, uh, what's, what, are, what is your guys' plan here? Uh, did Dr. Rat point us towards a high, where we can find a high priest? Yes. Yes. Well, I'm walking over there. <coughs> yeah, I'll make my way over there, kind of, like, careful to, like, move around all the people who are, like, taking refuge on the floor. I'm the walking groups behind of people and families. Like shield <laughs> against the crown. I will, uh, follow behind as well. I'll probably just chill at the entrance and just kind of keep my eye out for anything. Oh, just that's outside. a good idea. And Hannah up a lot. <clears throat> Do I see anyone? I mean, I feel like a high priest would very much look like a high priest. So yeah. I'll keep an eye out for one. Well, uh, Dr. Rat pointed you right to him. Oh, okay. He's... Sort of like a, a elderly uh, elven, elven man. Uh, and kind of priestly robe, and he's got um, <clears throat> just sort of like the uh, the sigil of a uh, uh, of a lightning bolt on his robes. Excuse me, good sir. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yes. I was told that you're the high priest. Uh, this that's true. I I, I run this here. Uh, uh, church. Are you are you aware of what's happened in the courtyard of the castle? Uh, I've gathered bits and pieces here and there from 
from the people, but a lot of them were... There was a lot of commotion, so I don't know if I have the full... The full picture. Would you like to see it yourself? Oh. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? We need... We need someone to take care of this problem, and... It feels like we're not quite equipped for this kind of task. Uh, uh, what's the, what, I mean, what, you have to be more specific. We were present in the courtyard for the ceremony when a, a group of, uh, robed and hooded men performed some sort of ritual or cast some sort of spell on one of the statues of the gods, on the statue of Hades, causing it to, to crack and release spirits. He has a flash of concern over his face, and he's gonna kind of, uh, please, please come, 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 they come this way. And he's gonna kind of, uh, gesture towards just like a quieter corner. Um, uh, real quick, Steve, mm -hmm. just as part of the recap, uh, when we finished the fight mm -hmm. and defeated the undead, so did all the spirits, so even, at, even after we defeated the undead, that the spirits had flown into, there were still more emerging from the statue, right? Yeah, it was it, it was kind of like a slower trickle of it happening. Okay, I was just making sure. All right, continue on. Um, so he kind of takes you over to this, this kind of side, and uh, you notice there's like this uh, curtain kind of coming down from the ceiling, uh, and he's going to kind of pull it open, and uh, it, you see a uh, statue of Hades with the same exact gash across his chest. And he's like, is, does it look a lot like this? It looks exactly like that. Is that is that a common thing? Uh, I've, no. Seems to be. What is this? What is what is going on? I, I'm not in. I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> something. Something kind of maybe of a higher power happened. Um. I, uh, I'm just... Sir, you're the high priest. I... <laughs> Being the, the, occurrences of a higher power are your, should be your specialty. I, uh, it's true, but we're, we're a small, we're, we're a small church here, um, of, off of one of the, the main branches from the Adelphos Island. If you, if you seek information, I possibly... Seeking one of the the temples over there might grant you answers. It it seems that maybe something has happened to Hades. Uh, it, were there spirits as well in the courtyard, sir? With all due respect to you and your position, that sounds like a long way to travel for a solution to a problem that's happening right now. <laughs> There's there are currently spirits still emerging from the statue. If we only we only <coughs> came to to you because the immediate danger seemed to have been taken care of, but it is far from from fixed, and we don't. Who, who else is there to turn to aside from the priests who <coughs> you know, aren't supposed to know much about the gods? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm I, I'm very worried that what happened to these two statues may have happened to statues across the land and maybe one of the uh the highest priests pre <clears throat> priests of the church uh of Hades might might have answers is there no precedent of this happening before no stories in your tomes or or nothing that you were taught the, the nature of these statues uh, I mean, the, the the statues depict the glory of of the gods. Uh, they we we pray to them, and uh, through that they they gain their they gain their strength and gain their power. If if something happened, uh, we might see the the repercussions of it uh, here, like we did with these statues. Well, 
say we were to travel to this island. What is what is to be done about the 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 statue in the courtyard now while we are gone? We we'll gather a group of priests to, to to watch over it and and do what we can to help the spirits pass on. But uh, I I'm not sure what else more we could do. We we can. We're not we're not necessarily fighters. We're here to help spread the word of the of the the glory of the gods. And do you know anything about those purple robed men that did such thing? Uh, purple. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know much. Uh, can you? Do you have any more information on them? They do have a nice symbol on those on those robes. Uh. <clears throat> He's gonna have you kind of like he, he's gonna go grab some parchment and have you kind of draw it out to the best of your memory. Um, I don't think it, have I shown you guys a picture of it. Uh, I, I actually don't think so. I think you've only I described it. So, no. I don't think you have. Uh, hold on one second. I have so many pages of notes. <laughs> Somebody help me get organized. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to attempt to draw it in roll 20. We're going to see what happens. Heck. Alright, here, I'm going to try and draw it. <clears throat> uh, you going to draw it? Yeah. Very crudely. I'm gonna draw it on the map for you guys. Oh, I see it. There you go. There's a very poor, poorly drawn depiction of it. That's good enough for me. Uh, and he's gonna have you kind of like just sketch it out for him. Uh, some paper, and then he is going to make a uh, religion check. Or actually, if one of you would be so kind as to roll a d20 for me. For a religion check? Mm -hmm. I a, can do that. Just, draw, just roll a d20. It's going to be for the, the priest. Oh, oh. <clears throat> of course. DP knows. How do I? Oh, no, no good. <clears throat> smooth uh, brain priest? He's a oh he's he's got a he's got a big bonus so he he's kind of like strokes strokes his chin and he's just like ah I know I've seen it somewhere in one of the the tomes uh I I know it's not a a, a good symbol which seems obvious uh, perhaps if you come back uh, I can I can find more information for you how much time do you need. I'll get to we, work. we do have other matters that I we get... need to take care of, even outside of this journey to Adolfo's. I can I can get to work straight away. Give me maybe a day, maybe two. I turn to the rest of the party. That's quite a lot. We'll be we'll be back we'll be back at midday tomorrow. Please. <laughs> See what you can do by then. Of course, I'll have uh, a couple of my attendants uh, help as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thank him and kind of like turn away and kind of like turn to the group. Well. <laughs> We do have a small lead, at least. A small lead, right. But we are... We, we were already on our way to... Uh, Elvengard. And now to 
be tasked with going someplace else entirely. Where was the temple? Uh, top left of the map. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the priest will kind of speak like, perhaps, it, it, did I overhear you're going to Elven Garden? Yeah, we were, we were just stopping through the capital for the festival before we continued on our way. Perhaps, uh, you could be able to borrow one of the Elven ships. They're quite fast. It might be faster than trying to backtrack all the way across the continent. Certainly. I would not mind seeing the sea. Do you do you have anyone, or do you know of anyone, a, a member of the clergy in Elvengard who would be able to help us with that? We, you see, we are we are already completely foreign to the capital. To be going to Elvengard, we would know nobody there. <coughs> Ah, it's, it's an elf. I, I, I grew up in Elven Guard. Uh, oh, I, I forgot he was an elf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, perhaps I can I can uh, write you a uh, write you a letter to hand to the council, and and perhaps they can lend a hand. That would be. We'd be very grateful for that. It'd be incredibly helpful. Uh, and he will uh, ask. Uh, he will catch one of the the attendants and and have him bring him some some pen and paper and he'll begin writing on he'll uh seal it up and hand it to you uh i will take it would it be possible for you to send a bird all the way to elven guard with the information about the purple robe man <laughs> that you find so that we don't have to wait a whole day uh, a bird i <coughs> unfortunately i don't have uh any any such uh means of communication like that i have a weasel and just one more thing if possible as a as an elf who hails from the city originally are you familiar with the name andor Oh, uh, of course. He was once on the council. Uh, he was also a brave adventurer uh, in his early days before um, kind of, I guess, we quote-unquote retiring. Uh, and then he abruptly left the council at one point. Uh, and I believe he took up residence in the, in the Evershade Woods was the last that I heard. Have you, since he... Did you hear any rumors regarding his his departure or his voluntary uh, exile in the woods? Uh, I did hear that uh, he had called for many a priest before he left. Uh, he, he had asked for me as well, but I was not able to make it back uh, before he left. Do you know what he needed a priest for? Uh, unfortunately, I don't. Is there is there anyone you know who did respond to his call? Uh, nobody. Any members of the clergy. Nobody that I know. Uh, you could check with. Uh, <clears throat> there, there's a small church in Elvengard that he maybe he was able to help Andor. Of course. Well, we appreciate the information and the help. I know this is probably a, a very uh, unique situation for you as well. If I was to leave my weasel with you, can you write down all information you find through the next few days about the purple robe man for him, for my weasel to bring it back to me whenever it's ready? Uh, he's here with, do you want me to hand information to your weasel yeah he's gonna be my messenger weasel uh yeah i suppose i could do that yes 
All right. <coughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll reach down in my bag and pull out hazelnut. Uh, I I kind of turned to Nyla. Are you are you okay to part with it? Well, she'll be fine. It, um, not, uh, excuse me, Nyla, I was promised a toy. Right. If we get your your toy, do you agree on staying here for a few days and making the road all the way back to me alone? Do it, I mean, uh, alone? You have your teddy bear that's gonna keep you safe. Mm, that's true. Although, uh, I don't know about traveling all on my lonesome. What about this big, this big fella? Can he come with me? Which one? Uh, Hazelnut's gonna turn to Ebron, which is like the biggest puppy dog eyes, but we, we but we, but weasel, but think weasel eyes. <laughs> Very pleading. Wait, can we hear the weasel talk? I don't remember. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I didn't think so. Didn't <laughs> you just think so. see this weasel look at you, Vin, look very sad. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't, so I don't hear the conversation, but I see the look on the weasel's face, and I kind of like kneel down by the weasel and like give it a pat on the head. <clears throat> now listen, you do what the, the nice old man here says, and I bet while you're here there would be some nice children in the church for you to play with i can play is that <laughs> okay you can play all you want for the next few days as long as you make it back to me and i get my Never toy right you get your toy we can go buy one real fast uh weasel person or full weasel just full weasel full weasel Uh, well, fear is having me uh, RP their summons so I don't kill them as much. <laughs> he knows. Uh, <laughs> I'm on to you. It's not going to stop me. Okay. So uh, Hazelnut will give you like a little salute. All right, let's go buy your toy. We have just like a straight up picture of Hazelnut. Uh, I know we have a token picture. Yeah, we have a token picture somewhere. It's Hazelnut. Boom. That's Hazelnut. But it's a small potion. All right. Okay. Does it work? Oh, sweet. Cool. <coughs> well, that's decided then. That. Oh, you're fine. I'll grab a hazelnut and place her place her back in my bag. Okay. I will, you, you can see like the bear's head poke out of the pack, and then hazelnut's head follow suit. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> well, I'm going to the market. To buy the promised toy. She will deliver the information whenever the priest is done. So we, do, we don't have to wait for too long. I'm leaving. <laughs> the priest will uh, bid you farewell. I will... Make my way back out into the street. I get to follow. Same. How does it? How does it look out in the street? Is there? Is it still chaotic? Uh, things seem to be kind of calming down. You see a lot of uh, city guards, kind of patrolling the streets now. Uh, and kind of like the show of force is kind of helping keep the peace and from anybody kind of acting too wild. So, what, uh, what's the plan, then? What did the, uh, priest tell you? Not that much. Unfortunately, he had very little to offer for being a man of his position. <sighs> and he, the only suggestion he had was to travel to 
Adelphos, the island of Adelphos, where the head of the church resides. But if I remember correctly from the maps of this continent, it's in the opposite direction from our, our planned journey to Elvengard. Yeah, it's most he did, religious folk. They are always want you to go on this uh, religious journey. Well, he did suggest that chartering a boat once we reached Elvengard, and he did give us a letter to the Elven Council. What else should? But it's really all we have to go off of, and hopefully it's enough. Hmm. Uh, so one thing to note, who has the gauntlet? I have the gauntlet in my backpack <clears> still. <throat> Where it's been this I whole time. I believe it's wrapped as well. Yeah, it's all, it's bound up in a shirt. <laughs> as so as as you kind of left the church, you felt a little tug in your bag, like it was trying to pull itself back into the church. And I and I noticed this. Yes, you kind of you kind of feel it like a little gentle tug. <clears throat> Uh, what did this gauntlet look like again? Ah, hell. <laughs> uh, I think it's just a, a metal gauntlet. Uh, no, it symbols was symbols of a. No, it had something on it. Oh yeah, yeah, it had symbols. Like, it had symbols on it. Chains or something. Yeah, it was. It had. It was wrapped in chains. It, it was, was wrapped, wrapped in, in. Yeah. Chains. Two two chains on it. Because. We'll, it and originally when we had found three. It, there right? was a literal hand. There was an arm inside it. Like it. A, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it has the symbol of Apollo on it. It's sort of like this golden gauntlet with this large golden. emblazoned sun on Sorry. it. And then it was wrapped in chains that had uh, kind of gave off this like necrotic sort of energy. I'm going to like. I'm going to stop and take off my backpack and look inside. Set it down on the ground and look inside. Uh, you see the bundle <clears throat> sort of, uh, again, kind of move, like it's trying to move towards the church just a couple of times, and it just kind of lays dormant. Is everything uh, I have... all right? You good, even? Yeah. I have, I actually, I want to ask the head priest... A few more questions. If you'd like to wait here, if you'd like to meet me back at the the inn, I'll meet you back. I'll have to go do some shopping. Okay. I looked at Varian and Alarin. I mean, I can wait here if you if you need, or if you want me just to head back, I can also do that. Just kind of make sure that nothing else is happening, but. I'm okay with waiting. Alarin. Um, I'll do what Alarin. You, yeah, huh? You, Alarin, you go with Nyla. Chances oh. are you might find something worth buying. Okay. And it actually might be better if we move in groups, especially with these figures yeah, roaming sure. about. It, it, and be sure to keep an eye to the skies as well. Even with the city guard out in force, we don't know. And no more corpses for them to inhabit. We don't know what these spirits could be doing. Okay, I'll go with I'll go with Nyla. I'll like That's fine by me. Skirted. I don't know if you were. I didn't know if you were already like. No, I was waiting gone. to see. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. I was waiting to see what. I was, was like half expecting you to be like. At least 10, 20 feet away by now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, let's get going then. Alrighty. Well, let us go to the. Like... Oh, uh, jewelry places. Before you turn well, it like... out, let's meet. Let's plan to meet back up at the uh, tavern. Yeah, that's Absolutely. Fine. I kind of wave to them as they go. I'll wait. That's what cowards. I'll, <laughs> I'll wait. I turned back. to, to very. <laughs> I flip off Nyla. <laughs> <laughs> Varian, 
actually, you come with me. I might need you in case something happens. Understood. I don't know what could happen, but something could happen. Look, uh, for all intents and purposes, a spectral hand could just burst out of the city statue and try to kill all of us. I don't know. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just, just keep that in mind about hands, okay? So you're not surprised if something happens with hands. <laughs> Bursting out of things. Mm. Just keep that in your mind. All right, let's mm. go. Mm, I don't I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I follow. I follow. I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go back into the church. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> um Uh I'm wearing my pack on my front, like a baby carrier <laughs> as well. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. And kind of just like holding it with like my arms kind of like underneath it, just seeing if I feel any sort of like reaction. You get some odd like moving you get, back inside the building. You get some odd looks. Uh, <clears throat> and, but uh, once you kind of get inside, you, you feel the pull again. And it seems to be leading you in a specific direction. Okay. I will follow it. Okay. Uh, you follow it, and you kind of weave through this crowd um, as people kind of give you the side eye. You, you're backward. Your your backpack on backwards. Two two full grown men. Uh, <clears throat> and you come to a small statue uh, with uh, the symbol of the sun at the base of the statue, sort of on this little pedestal. And you know it's a statue of Apollo. Does the uh, statue it. have its hand? Yeah. Yes. Does, does anything stand out about it? It uh nope. It's just kind of a small statue. You notice some of the other gods as well, um, kind of along this wall that you kind of have come to. It has it has sort of like the. It seems like they only had uh, big statues of the uh, Poseidon, uh, Hades, which was covered in Zeus, and then this is like the rest of them, but sort of smaller off to the side. seems uh wholly intact i i look around are there people like surrounding us or around us or is it um there are some people around you some of them are kind of offering up prayers to some of the different statues i'm gonna make sure that varian is like close behind me and i'm gonna take the gauntlet out of the pack still wrapped in the shirt mm -hmm. and kind of just like hold it out to the statue and see if it gets any sort of response yeah, uh, I'll kind of just like body block as much as possible <laughs> even though he still kind of towers over me it's just like mean mugging like mean mugging people or what uh yeah an, an old lady comes up to like make an offering and he like kind of pushes her away just, you better get the fuck yeah. back just our like DJ shove <laughs> uh, start throwing some bows <laughs> Child um, walks up, punt them. No. Suplex. <laughs> Suplex. Wow. <laughs> so you you hold the gauntlet out, and as you kind of hold it before the statue, it 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 lies dormant. Do you do you say anything, or just kind of hold it out? Oh, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, Apollo, break these chains. <laughs> <laughs> roll me, uh, roll me a religion check. Also, I thought I had points in religion. I don't. <laughs> Uh, with a with a seven, uh, <clears throat> you it, you feel the gauntlet rumble a little bit. You hear the chains kind of clank, uh, but then the glove lies dormant again. The 
gonna turn to Varian. Do you want to try? <laughs> I am not a religious man. I've never really cared for it, but I mean, if it works. I mean, cool. I, it's really, as long as it, it's really just if you say it with conviction, right? Uh, you know what? What's the worst that could happen? I get my arm chopped off. It, let's not worry about that. I'm gonna like kind of like gingerly, still like wrapped up, hand it out to him, like I'm handing him like a venomous snake or something. <laughs> I will gingerly take it. Um, knock on wood. Uh. <laughs> I heard the knock. <laughs> uh, just and I kind of just like like lean into you. It's like just say something that sounds religious. May the light of the sun break these chains that bind us. Go ahead and roll a religion check. You can make sure I don't have a fan. Okay, it's on normal. You got Rilgan. Religion. Huh. Uh, I, kind of silent, I give you like a little silent thumbs up. It's good. That was really good. <clears throat> uh, with a 14. You hear sort of this loud ringing uh, in your ears, uh, and you feel this intense heat kind of wash over you. Um, it doesn't harm you, but it's hot. Uh, and uh, a little light kind of comes from the statue and shoots towards the glove. Oh, Jesus, no. And one of the chains breaks. And then I kind of I, I kind of like pull the the cloth back and like inspect it and see like the the broken chain while while he's still holding it. Uh, and then it, in, after the chain breaks, the 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 feeling of of the the heat is gone, the light is gone, uh, and people are left murmuring, kind of around you. <clears throat> you hear somebody go, "Was he is he blessed by the gods, sir? Please." Gods, no. Please. No. I haven't. Uh, help me. I, what is that? Can you can you help us? After what happened in the courtyard. Um. Uh, have a good night, silent. The <laughs> only thing I can really help with is punching things. I don't. I'm not a holy man. I kind of like wrap the gauntlet back up. Just so they like, just to keep people from seeing it. Uh, good, good people. Uh, Apollo has blessed <laughs> not just us, but all of you as well. So. Stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> and... Look, all of you could be experiencing some weird form of hallucinogenic drug right now. Uh, who knows what those weird uh, hooded figures did? Uh, do you really think so? You think we were poisoned? And, and people not start poisoned. To, people start to panic. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I, I, I like turn to your pen, or I turn to your pen. Do you have any? Do you have any more pie to offer? No, I can only offer one pie a day. I might be able to come back tomorrow and offer some pie. Like for Apollo? No, for them. Oh. For the people. <laughs> hmm. Just... Uh... Good people. Apollo has, has blessed us with the knowledge of bountiful food. Shit. And we will <laughs> deliver it unto you. At this time tomorrow. Oh, you're uh, I'll, a feast for everybody? You guys are saying a lot uh, of strange stuff, feast, mister. <laughs> a feast for a, some of you. <laughs> you can share, you'll have to share. I'll lean in. I can Listen, only make one pie. Apollo, he didn't have much to say. 
What did he say? He, he, Apollo only gave us a little bit to work with, so bear with us, please, good people. We, we are here to help, but this this is a strange and frightening problem with spirits and, and statues, and <laughs> just listen to the members of the clergy, <coughs> they, and they will they will do what they can. Uh, God's help us all. I walk out. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna like crouch down next to like a little boy. Now remember, stay, stay here in the church, and make sure that if you go outside, you make sure not to let any spirits fly into your open mouth and possess you. Okay. <laughs> you see, his eyes go wide, and he clamps his like hands over his mouth, and he's just like, take my hands off and do it again. And he like starts to cry, and, and, and he's I, like, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like kind of hold them close, and God. I'll be like, don't, and I'll be like, don't worry, you're safe in here, but just be careful if you go outside to play, because you might not see them, but they're everywhere now. <laughs> he just starts sobbing. <laughs> he just... <laughs> uh, just okay, very. Adding... Let's go. Adding... The blessings of Apollo. Blessings of Apollo on all of you, good people. <laughs> Adding extra dramatic effect to that, I just kind of like from kind of like, <laughs> whisper everywhere. <laughs> it's like just walk I'm away. Just like, Mommy, <laughs> it's just like yeah, it's just and then we, snot and tears everywhere. And then, yeah, and then we'd run away as fast as possible. <laughs> just to see this like commotion in the church behind you as you quickly exit. <coughs> Uh, so while that's happening, what's uh, what is what's uh, what are the other two up to? I'm looking for Pencha. Uh, uh, yeah, there's 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 a you, you kind of wander for a little bit and you eventually find one. Uh, it's 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 called uh 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 um uh, uh, uh pets pets and things. Uh, I'll go inside and see if there's anyone. Still weasel like toys! We got weasel toys! Get your weasel toys here! <laughs> Only for weasel. <laughs> Only for the good boys and girls. <laughs> uh, you, you walk in, there's a little tinkle of a bell. Uh, and you see uh, a very a very peppy uh, uh, young lady kind of look up from the counter. Oh! A customer! What can I help you with? I am looking for a toy for my weasel, and I think I just know exactly what I want. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let me know if I can help you find anything. Will do, thank you. And I'll, <laughs> I'll look around for a bit. <laughs> and I'm looking for one of these. Shit. <laughs> <It didn't work. laughs> looking no. for the letter X. <laughs> <laughs> you betrayed me. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> roll, t roll 20, damn you. Let build up. <laughs> Fuck me over again. <laughs> I'm looking for her. Please no, hold. My suspense. <laughs> I should have known. Should have known. Can you send it in Discord for us? Why does it count as this? <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It count? My favorite weasel toys. Hey. No, it's the broken, the broken document, the best weasel toy. Oh man! Don't click my virus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. My immersion is ruined. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Is it a link or a picture? Code access denied. <laughs> Message access denied. Details anonymous caller does not have storage to objects that get access. It's oh, perfect. The perfect okay. toy. Cat <laughs> <on. Yes. laughs> and you you find a virus. whole row of all kinds of little things like that. All right, pick whatever you want. Perfect. Just see little hazelnut's eyes go wide. And she's going to grab the teddy bear. Okay, uh, Mr. Stuffles, help me find one. Stuffles. 
And she's going to kind of, like, hold it in her mouth and hold it out and towards the toys. And she goes, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she finally lands on one. Uh, it, it looks like it looks just like this photo. A little fishing Is rod. Is this the one you want? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No changing your mind. So me and Mr. Stuffles have agreed that this is the the perfect one. All right, I'll grab it and over and over to the counter. How much for this? Oh, that's such a good toy. You you picked out such a good one. It's it's uh, gonna be two silver pieces. Sounds good for me. And I'll I'll place my two silver pieces on the counter and leave with the toy and his or not. <laughs> Thank you for. Oh oh okay. Toy. Have a great day will do that'll be 75 gold <laughs> and your soul yeah uh, oh that little thing <laughs> that's just gonna cost your soul <laughs> pretty much i lost mine when i took this job <laughs> <laughs> i'm hoping that doesn't happen with my new job that's Big retail deal. for you it's called retail honey <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's retail uh um... I'm right. I'm terrified. So you, you hear the little jingle in your backpack is uh, Hazelnut is already just completely enthralled uh, with her new toy. <laughs> oh, I'll I'll also browse the market to buy myself some rations okay. so I can stop stealing Ebrins. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah you find plenty of of uh little, little i don't food even know how many i have left <laughs> and, and uh like a like sort of like a general supply store Where's yeah I'll, I'll go buy some of course there it is oh my god okay oh and you find a character sheet big owls adventuring equipment emporium <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta reopen roll 20. <laughs> well, that's a lengthy name to write down. I but I do have a shopping list I can just drop if you want. <laughs> I figured you did. Shopping list. <laughs> we'll do it all over again. Yeah, I trust you. Ropes? Does it have ropes? Does it have 10 foot wooden poles? <laughs> Does it have no. 80 feet of the rope? It's all light stuff. You better not have another weasel on there. No, <laughs> you're fine. There you go, uh, my list, my shopping list. Uh, 50 grams of nope? Oh, no, it's alchemist supplies. It's 50 gold of nope, it's too expensive. Oh, I was just like, <laughs> I just, was just like 50 grams of nope? Of rope, maybe? <laughs> no, I messed up on that, but it's fine. That's what I want. <laughs> That's all all of that except the fifty gold one. Uh, the only thing, so if you if you wander into Big Al's Adventure and Equipment Emporium, you are greeted by Big Al himself. What? <laughs> we are probably the size of Big Al's foot. Give us the voice. This Give us the funny. voice. Uh, we want the voice. Big Al. Okay, hold on. <coughs> <laughs> I know, I almost went into Cletus. Uh, oh. <clears throat> oh boy, well boy, howdy, how's it going? I haven't seen you around here. Is there anything I can get you? What are you looking for? I don't, I don't come here too often, but yes, I, I do have a shopping list. Uh, I'm assuming you're handing it to, to Big Al? Yeah, it's like a small note. Okay, uh, you have a little note and he's going to read it over. Whoa! Quite, quite the list, quite the list. I, we have about, we have just about everything. Although, unfortunately, we don't carry any, uh, any perfumes here. That's perfectly fine. And he'll kind of walk down the aisles with you and and start handing you stuff one by one. He'll hand you a bedroll and a little bell, some a box of chalk, <clears throat> a little stack of rations, some soap, the whistle, and just kind of checking stuff off. Um. He's like, no, can you carry all that there? I can. I'm if perfect. anything, someone else will. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and what what about you over there? And he'll look at uh Alleran. Um, I'm just tagging along for now. I didn't have anything in mind really. 
Well, we've got everything here for adventuring here at Big Al's Adventuring Equipment in Emporium, so if you need something, you just ask Big Al here. I uh, will do. Absolutely will do. Thank I'll you, uh, send you through the, uh, the checkout line. <laughs> I'll pay for everything, of course. Okay, I'll trust you. And then dump everything in the bag with hazelnut before I, I leave. <laughs> hey, oh, it, it's getting a little cramped in here. That's fine. Hey, oh, wait, your, Mr. Stuffles <laughs> is gonna get squished. As long as it's, as long as it's not you. You Mr. precious Stuffles. little thing. I am precious, huh? <laughs> And just goes back to playing. Uh, are you ready to head back to the to the hen? Um. Or do you need to do some shopping or selling? You hoarder. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're so rude to me. <laughs> you barely even talk. <laughs> My goodness. Um. <laughs> I think. I think I'm good for now. We can we can head back to the inn. Back to the inn it is. Okay. On um, Ebrin and Barry, where are you guys? What are you guys doing after you cause a little commotion in the church? I'm going straight back to the inn. Okay. I can't can't leave these boys unattended alone. Uh, is Varian, Are you also going back to the inn, or is there anything that you wanted to do? Yeah, I think. That's pretty much all we needed to, or we wanted to get done, as far as I can think of, so I think we'd head back to the inn after. Do you remember the name of the inn you guys are staying at? Coin and Coffers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know this time. <clears throat> Word. I just, I have that written at the top of my notes, and I wasn't sure if that was this town or the last town, to be honest. So, it's great. I thought somebody had it. Uh, so yeah, you guys meet back up. You guys, you guys see each other. Uh, what are you guys going? What are you guys doing from here? I'm presenting my bedroll over to Ibrin. Carry, please. What? <laughs> Could you carry that for me? It's heavy. What? <laughs> How much did you buy? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Supplies. You call me a hoarder. <laughs> At least these are useful things. <laughs> and mine are not! <laughs> they could be useful at some point. At some point. <laughs> Remind me what you have. Uh, hang on. I gotta open that up. Just pull, uh, <laughs> pick up your giant <laughs> backpack. Just dump through everything it. off. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I got I, I, this I, tosses I, oh over her shoulder. I take the bedroll have... from Nakila. So does this bedroll mean you'll be no you'll no longer have any need for my tent? Oh no, I'll, I'll take the tent. <laughs> just, just sleep on anything else but the floor itself. Uh, <laughs> it's for the shelter. Bedroll is for comfort. I just hear Steve. I have Steve's the actual stream like turned <laughs> way down low and all I hear is his laugh every once in a while. <laughs> I love it. I, I'm just gonna take the bedroll and, and um, I'm just gonna like tie it to the uh, to the bottom of the uh, backpack <clears throat> as in in the same place so that you find them tied underneath to, to the under part. Alarion's just gonna go on about everything she has in her backpack, and just like, you never know when you're gonna need a set of silver cutlery. <laughs> Could yes. come in handy at some yeah, point. Silver cutlery? Or I do have one set of silver cutlery. You know, you could use the same knife for stabbing- You, you don't need separate knives for st stabbing people <gasps> and stabbing food, if you well, clean it well enough. Alarin. True, but you do Alarin's also kinda want to- look at her own hands. <laughs> You kind of want to keep your blades oiled so it doesn't damage any further after that. It's a process to take care of your blades. It, Alan, you're perfectly fine having that set of cutlery. It's... It, it's fair. I might sell it at some point, but not, not right now. <laughs> well, you are, you are all, as long as it doesn't... 
weigh you down too much. You are all, all welcome to carry. So we're running like. out of drinks. Okay. He's gonna like side eye Nihila slightly. You can carry all the things you want. It's just more ammunition for catapults. Yeah, that's that's fair. Uh, that's Steve, what time of, what time of day is it? Uh, I would I would think that it's quickly approaching uh, nighttime. Because I've had quite the eventful day. <laughs> well, after the day that we've had, I'm quite content with spending the evening here at the inn. Because the sooner that we sleep, the sooner we can wake up, the sooner we can get more information from the priest, and the sooner we can be on our way. I've had quite enough of the capital in this festival. I'm... I'm sure that, uh, the events that took place in the, the courtyard have surely brought an end to the festivities, no, either way. If they still continue on with any form of festivities after this, I'd be very concerned about their ideas of public safety. <laughs> I don't know if you could handle another pieting contest anyways. Look, <laughs> if push comes to shove, I will eat the pie. <laughs> I am going to... I'm going to speak to the, uh, the innkeeper. I don't remember if we... I think we only purchased the rooms for the one night, right? Oh, I forgot about that. I believe so. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to go to the to the innkeeper about pro procuring rooms for another night. <clears throat> uh, as a fan the fantastic DMIM, I definitely wrote down the the rates that I charged you last time. But if if you guys happen to know, I would love to hear if you remember. I feel uh, like one, like one copper per... piece. <laughs> <laughs> Half of a copper per person. <laughs> I think I hate one copper. Gold per, per wound per night. Uh, one gold sounds right to me per person. Sure. That sounds like a more reasonable rate than one <laughs> a copper piece. It's uh, one hay copper. Got that hay penny right there. Oh no, we actually pay you to stay here. It's wild. Oh, thank God. Well, surely What's the catch? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't get to leave. No, no, it's Hotel California. I was you about to say, it, what's the name of this hotel again? Out. Is it California? <laughs> <laughs> uh, made, a, made a song reference earlier. I don't know if anybody caught it. I did not. And That's welcome so to the hotel. You yeah, eat your I don't know where it's called. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the name of the capital. Yeah. All right. Igradale. <laughs> Welcome to the hotel Igradale. So I'll I'll just I'll just pay two oh gold God, it was a for two rooms. Sparks. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, probably grab some food and then. Yeah, uh, so I'm going. Down. I'm going to get food and and an ale, and sit down at one of the tables. I'll do this. Would you all? Food. Join me, join is it, me. Is, as long as it's comically large food, I'll do the same. I'll sit on well, my bush. Compared to you, all food. everything is comically large. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they'll, they'll give you like uh, some bowls of stew. Oh, I'm vegetarian. <laughs> Oops. Uh, well, first, just has like a stew. chicken leg <laughs> sticking <laughs> into it. <laughs> v vegetarian? I, I ain't chicken never heard no vegetarian in my life. A whole chicken's foot just <laughs> poking out of it. Oh, oh yeah, we do have a ration. Yeah. That, that there is vegetarian. Do you have, do you have like, fruits? 
Uh, yeah. If if you say you're vegetarian, they'll they'll take the the stew back, uh, and uh, bring you sort of like a, uh, uh, some some fresh fruits, uh, and like uh, uh, some some nice cheeses and crackers and. Uh, yeah. Will this will this will this do for you? We don't don't get uh don't have too much uh, else to offer. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. Uh, head back, head back to the, the kitchen. Back so to the after bar. after he's left and we're all gathered around the table, I kind of like lean into the table. So, so Varian and I went back into the into the cathedral. We went back into the cathedral. Potentially scarred the child. Because, well, potentially, it's for his own good. Uh, I'm sure he but... deserved it. <laughs> Oh, Laren's gonna look at course. you guys skeptically and like. <laughs> we say, she's not we, gonna that, say anything, but she's gonna give you guys like a look. It, we, we were giving. <laughs> we were, we, the life I, lesson. I could, I could feel. The, the gauntlet, was responding to something. Moving, uh, moving under its own power, or moving due to some force. Um, and I didn't say I didn't say anything to you two at the time because I didn't know exactly what it was, but it was pulling towards a statue of Apollo, and when presented to the statue, some some force was able to break another of the chains on it. So it is cursed. I mean, it's, it, deals with the gods is pretty much is pretty cursed. It, it's it cursed, yes, but I mean, the nature of the curse, aside from Andor being unable to remove it, we don't know. We don't know exactly what it was that broke the chain, other than. You know, some force of Apollo. So maybe we need to find just another temple of Apollo or something like that, and that might do something. I was thinking the exact same thing, Varian. Yay. Well, thankfully, we're going there fairly soon to the island and such. But we hmm. still don't know the significance of the gauntlet. Maybe or why the maybe or why the and... the robed men wanted it badly yeah. enough to come after Endor for it. Should probably but... keep it as intact as we can. Um, because I'm sure the true. The elves and the but we'll, all are all we do know questions. is that it's better off in our possession than it is in theirs, regardless yeah, of of what could be done with it. After. Knowing what they did with the the Bullywogs and Andor, and after they're showing here in the capital, I'm, I think it's safe to assume it's nothing good. Laren's just going to be nodding her head. I agree with Just keep, keep your eyes out. I, I can't not. Considering I'm lizard ask. <laughs> sure, that's a very good point. Uh, <laughs> but on that note, I'll I'll finish my food and drink, and get and get ready to head to bed. I'm sorry. How many rooms did you get? Two. Two. Isn't that how many we got last time? Yes, yes. I just yeah, forgot. Just you got like the same number two. of rooms. Okay. Well. That was a very eventful day, but I'm off to bed. Give me the key. Give you know, Nyla, key. if you would like to test the comfort of your bedroll, I'm sure there's plenty <laughs> of room on the floor. It's a big thing in adventuring to make sure that it is the most comfortable bedroll that you have. I would like the key, please. We would have hated for you to have spent that money just for it to be uncomfortably hard and impossible to sleep on. Surely you'd like to test it out. While we're Plus still in might have to the break capital, and you could return it if it's not to your liking. 
surely if you miss again, I could just watch and wait to see what happened instead of giving you a second chance. Give me the key. I just mm. hand over the key. <laughs> <laughs> So who's going to share the room with me? Very in again? Sure. That's fine by me. Right. I'm going upstairs. Time to sleep. I wish you all the best of luck. If I don't... If you do not see me in the morning, Naira has probably killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I had upstairs as well. <laughs> I had to and you, Aloran? <coughs> um... Um, Sorry, my brain just no, like, I, stopped. <laughs> no, I I completely agree. I think there is time enough for another ale before bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I order another round for us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just want to get the cobalt drink. One regular size oh. mug of ale uh, is delivered in front of the small cobalt. Drink up, Nyla. We hit the road tomorrow well, after speaking I, with the I clergy. Think, I think you uh, are <laughs> right. done the, with we, ale, because I am not a rabbit. We hit the road tomorrow after speaking I with the priest, so who knows when we might get another sure. good drink or good meal in us. So drink up while we're here. Oh, okay. As, uh, as Alarm begins to drink, uh, you... Uh, uh, Aloran, don't wait. Aloran, I insist. Make a toast. <laughs> what? <laughs> just the just to the two of us, <laughs> or just just with me here. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Bear wants me to talk. <laughs> toast, toast, toast. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, what do I want to say? <laughs> uh, Aloran, she's kind of like, she's going to use both hands to lift up the mug of ale, because that's the best she can do with it. <laughs> And just like kind of hold it up and be like, well, here's to the rest of our adventures and whatever the heck that was that happened today. At I mean, at least we're alive. For now. I no. lift my mug as well. <laughs> at least we're alive. <laughs> uh, Ebron, as you, as you guys ho hoist your glasses, you notice a few people behind you. Kind of pointing at Alarin, and it looks like they're placing bets to see if, if they can drink it their their whole cup of ale or not. <laughs> All right, and before you finish, Alarin, I'll make a toast to <laughs> never in all my life in the mountains would I have expected to find myself in such strange but pleasant company as you and the others or facing such utter nonsense as we faced in our time together uh, absolutely I would agree now drink up don't let it go to waste <laughs> God. Alarin's gonna Alarin's gonna chug the ale <laughs> the best that she can as you as you finish it, you hear behind you like ah heck, and somebody slams some coins out on the table, walks away. <laughs> this music's a little too intense. Just gonna like turn turn around and give like give them a confused look. Did you do you know what that's about? Even? I'm not even paying know what's attention. Going on over there. I'm like staring off into the fireplace. Yeah, Bren. Oh, yes, are you, I suppose. Are you good? Well, let's head to bed. Uh, oh, and okay. I, and I just pick up, and I just 
pick Alarin up under my arm. <laughs> that, that's, this was probably a good decision. This was probably a good choice. And, and just like a pick her up under my arm like a duffel like a duffel bag and yeah, gonna carry her upstairs <laughs> yeah like a football <laughs> yeah, this is this is fine and we will head to bed uh I'll sleep on the floor. I'll I'll use the nope, bedroll. I I'm gonna try can, out. Nope, no, I'm gonna try it. I'm trying bed. out. Nope, you can. I, I'm trying out the bedroll. Are you trying no, out? Are you trying out Nyla's bedroll? Yes, I'm trying out the bedroll. Oh, but... it's it's bunny sized. <laughs> I, 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 I lay it out. On, I lay, It was like deceptively sized, rolled up, attached to my bag, and I didn't really think about it. But unrolling it, I see that it's like the size of a pillowcase. <laughs> And in fact, might actually <laughs> just be like, a pillowcase that Nyla was like charged far too much for. <laughs> you would accuse Big... What was his name? Big Al? Big, Big Al. Al. <clears throat> it's a shame. I, I like, <laughs> after having like laid it out on the floor, <laughs> I, I kind of like look at it and it's like, this was probably what I should have expected, but... Is there like a chair in the room, or is it like just a bed? Like an upholstered I, chair. Uh, it's got, it's like... got two beds. And a chair, sure. I... Oh, two beds and a chair each room? Oh, okay. We upgraded. I think it was like that last time, too. I don't know, I don't remember. Keep the, keep the I, I just factor out of it. pick Alarin up and like, <laughs> toss her on the bed. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> and then I'm gonna like position this tiny bedroll, so it's like under, in this in the center of the floor, and it's like under like, uh, like the small of my back, kind of, or like, you, you know, there, under under my shoulders, there. something. And then I are there two beds? I thought it was, it was just two rooms with one bed each. Oh, there's two beds. Oh, well, I'll just get in the other bed. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. That's what the setup was for the yeah, rooms. Yeah, no, we were just talking about it. <laughs> oh, I, I missed that. Okay. We'll, we'll just good, we'll just Jared. go to bed then. <laughs> uh, all right. So you guys, you guys are heading to sleep. Yes. Uh, uh, Lauren's probably gonna have a headache, but it's all good. Is uh, what are, what are Nyla and Varian up to? Oh, I'm. Um... Lounging in bed, taking some notes, uh, using Mage Hand to play with a cat toy with. Ace oh yeah, very very jingly, very very loud. Of course. <laughs> just happy, just happy weasel squeals. And she'll. And I'll cast alarm as a ritual on every single windows and doors I see before going to bed. Okay. Nyla. Yes. You don't have to answer this, but. It's been bugging me since we've got to this town. Go on. Why... Why are you traveling amongst the lower ranks if you are from... from those of wealth? Well, my family is, but not quite me. I am from the Feywild. It is my first week here, after all. Is your family in the Feywild still, or are they here? Here, for the most part, as far as I know. Then what's stopping you from going to them? I don't know where they're at. <laughs> I have no clue where they at. You but at the same any... time, I get to adventure and look around and make some notes. Learn about the world by myself instead of burying myself in a book. Well, you're burying yourself in a book right now. Well, that's different. It's my notes. Mm. I get to see the world and learn by myself instead of learning from a library or some sort of word or word to mouth. Now it's just a matter of time before I get to see the sun by myself, or the sea. Hmm. 
instead sure. of seeing a painting or a picture. Fair enough. Thank you for answering that question with open honesty. No worries. I'll get some sleep. It's late. Yeah, I mean, if that the cat toy will not be as loud, <laughs> it would be appreciated. See, I don't have earplugs. The weasel just shoots you a look and then goes right back to playing. Look, <laughs> we all need sleep here. Do not make me silence that thing for the for the night. You know what? I'll give you a hand and I cast sleep on. <laughs> 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 I guess sleep on Varian. Doing it. <laughs> uh, oh, 28 does not do it. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, can you drop me the spell card for me? Oh no. I didn't think it's a small room. <laughs> oh, you hit yourself with it, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yep, and I, you probably have less hit points too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you you certainly That's have less great. hit points. So you you get you go first. I remember this from. <laughs> no, I remember this, this from the from the bard. So I think you hit. Well, hold on, because Defin- hazelnut would get definitely hit knock themselves out first. Yeah, hazelnut has one HP, so she's gonna go down to me. How many have? Wait, how many HP do you have? Uh, none. I got nineteen. Oh, oh so gone. exactly. <laughs> yeah, so you, okay. you very and you, <laughs> you see Nyla cast a spell, and uh, Hazel and the Weasel is like a mid jump for the toy, and then just just falls, just hard snoring. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and then Nyla, you're oh. <laughs> Nyla's asleep too. Does Nyla snore, or is she uh, a silent sleeper? Probably like a self snoring. Okay. <laughs> well, well, man, yeah, though that uh, that definitely helps. Well, good night, Nala. Good night, uh, Hazelnut. Hazel, Hazel. I need to make sure I can remember their names. Anyway, good night. Uh, so everybody uh, falls asleep for the night. Uh. <clears throat> uh, one of you, one of you has some interesting dreams. Uh, Ebrid. Uh, you are dreaming of uh, one of the digs that you did with your father back in the day uh, with a, a small uh, uh, group of archaeologists that you guys were protecting. Uh, and you you found sort of like a, a, a small, like, hidden tome, tomb. Uh, as you guys are kind of walking down the hall, you see uh, sort of like carvings of different symbols uh, and things, and, and one of them catches your eye. Uh, and in a second, you're by yourself, and you're staring at this symbol, uh, the sigil of an eye, and it begins to grow uh, until it sort of envelops you. Uh, <clears throat> and you hear this sort of deep... Uh, sort of echoing laughter that kind of surrounds you uh then you wake up and it's morning time oh uh, i kind of like look around making sure like everything's okay and that it was just a dream and you're back I see Alloran in the in the other bed well, Aaron is still, still asleep. <laughs> I kind of just like slowly sit up and get to my feet and start gathering, gathering everything together. <coughs> uh, <coughs> and as you guys are, as you guys all slowly wake up, you guys have all uh, leveled up. A level of what are you guys level up. Yeah. Get a level what up. Which, oh my god. Uh, you guys can we'll have level I'll have you guys kind of take care of that this week. Yeah, so we're not yeah. sitting oh, here okay. doing it, but uh exciting. Yeah. Whew. 
real fast, just because. Just so I don't forget about it. Yeah, you guys can do your hit dice real quick right now, and then you guys oh. can use the skills and spells. Like garbage. Oh no. All on stream hit dice rolls. Scared. Jesus Christ, our team. I also don't remember what to click for this. Just click the hit dice right on the sheet. It'll say hit dice. Uh, it's above uh, your attacks and stuff. Just above it. Just to the left of the death saves, below your current HP. Okay. Nice. Oh, big 12. Ooh. Nice, nice. Almost max, roll max rolls. Who's ready for uh, a 50 HP Leonin? <laughs> so ready. <laughs> Me! So is that... How much okay, can we do so that now? Six. Yep. So that's plus six. Plus six to your max. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> is yeah. 32? We take those rolls. <laughs> 32. I have 50 HP now. 5 zero. That's literally my double. <laughs> I got 24. Take him, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. I'm waiting for the time where I just roll something terrible on one of them. Uh, Nyla, you are woken up by a very upset weasel. Upset weasel. Yeah, Nyla, why did you make me? Why did you? Why did you do that? <laughs> I thought we were done. <laughs> I'll sit down. We we can end right now. It is late. I just noticed. No, no, I was, I was like very confused. <laughs> but I'll I'll sit down, grab my hat, put it back on. We we don't talk about that. We will never talk about this again. No, I'm curious. What did you do? A sleep spell. Oh, that must be nice to have. <laughs> you get the nice little sleep spell for yourself. No, not when you use it on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes it nice, just in case if you're having a hard night of sleeping. Oh. That's a fair point. Yeah. If you're ever having, like, those uh, nightmares or night terrors or anything that could stop you from being able to sleep, you can just be like, nah. Or anyone else, of course. You know, I'll begin gathering my things. Take some time to write down some new spell that came across when I bash my head on the floor <laughs> from falling asleep. A stroke of genius. You just wake up with like a big lump, big knot on your head. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Well, ready to go. Yeah, but the reason will ever be. Let's go. I can get her my shit and leave. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you guys all meeting at the. Uh, what is everybody else doing? Laren has a. Uh, I'm waiting for them downstairs. I'll be waiting. Uh as well. Laren looks like visibly tired. <laughs> Got that hangover. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of ale for a tiny lizard. Okay, so you guys all meet back down at the uh, uh, downstairs at the inn. Alright. So our plan for the day is to go check up on the uh, on the uh, religious people. Eh. That's right. Uh, see if they have anything, and then 
probably head out from there, or...? Yes, we'll stop in at the priest, and I'd like to be out of town before sundown. No room. I've had yeah. quite enough of this capital. We can visit the church, see if they have anything new to report, and if they don't, I'll leave Hazelnut with them. They're gonna be the little messenger. Uh, so I think we just make our way back to the to the priest, Steve, okay. to the church. Uh, so you guys, you guys get there. Uh, <clears throat> you guys walk in. One of the uh, attendants that was with the uh, uh, like sort of leader of this church uh, sees you, and he he's just like, "Oh, uh, come uh, right this way. I'll take you uh, to the back." He's I think he's waiting for you. Uh, and you guys come into this kind of large room. He's got a desk, and he's got books spread out uh, everywhere. Uh, and he's like, oh, oh good, good. Uh, you're here. I, I, we spent uh, the entire night uh, trying to find uh, the book, and I, I think we have found it. And he'll uh, push a book towards you guys, and you see the symbol of the eye uh, on, on one of the pages. And he... <clears throat> we'll go on and check it. This is a uh, not good news, unfortunately. Uh, this is one of the symbols of uh, one of the, the the great titans that were locked away some time ago. It appears that there seems to be some sort of uh, group, uh, whether they're uh, praying to him or or just uh, kind of gathering under under this symbol. I, I do not know, but. It does not bode well. So what is the relation of this of this Titan to the gods? Uh well long long ago, uh the Titans ruled the lands, or or it's sort of the, the, the you know, all of existence. Uh and the gods appeared, uh, and fought them off and locked them away down in uh Tartarus in the underworld. Uh, they're they're beings of of pure evil, uh, with uh, unimaginable uh, hatred uh, of the gods. I would assume that they would uh, love to see this world that has been created uh, destroyed and uh, re reimagined in in their sort of image. <coughs> And, and what was the name of this titan? <coughs> Unfortunately, the, the name is, is not in the book. Just a symbol. Well, I guess that's motivation enough. It is something to keep in mind. I would ask what these cultists are doing worshipping such a being but then again I feel like it is the nature of cultists to do the inexplicable so no matter Thank you for what information you were able to find, Your Grace. Of course, I'm, I was I'm glad to help. <laughs> I'm gonna like turn to the others. Well, that was relatively quick, and the day is still early. Sh shall we be on the road? I'm ready to go, we just need to get the horses. Should the, <coughs> yep. I'm sure the horses have been well taken care of, right? I mean, if they haven't... The stable we left yeah. them in seemed positively... ...either enamored or terrified of Cletus. I'm sure that I'm sure they're well taken care of. Let's go check now. Lead the way. 
Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <coughs> I will lead the way. I'll do it right now. Just watch. Okay. I'm leading. <laughs> Does anybody remember the name of the person you guys left him with? Nope. <laughs> Young, <Whoa>. stable, jerk. <laughs> was it Arthur Penhart? No, Arthur Penhart was the king. That was the king. I thought it was a child. I thought it was like just some young stable hand. <laughs> it was a dwarf. Oh. Bernard. <laughs> it same, was Bernard. <laughs> same thing. Same thing. <laughs> Dwarves are just hairy children. You, see, you, heard, it here. you heard it here, folks. <laughs> I remember the horse's names. Does that count? <laughs> That's good enough. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid. <laughs> I had to write them down because I kept forgetting. <laughs> Ted, Todd, Fluffernutter, and Dandelion. That's those are the ones. Yep. Uh, so you guys approach the stables, and you see uh, Bernard the dwarf out brushing the horses, and he sees you and he goes, Ah! You're back? As promised, I kept them uh, well-groomed, well-fed, and happy. Uh, and I believe the deal was that you would pass on word that I did a fine job at caring for these horses. Of course. We will uh, certainly tell Cletus that Barney... No, He's the best stable master in all of the capital. Not, not Barney Bernard. Please. Oh, please. Sorry, I apo oh, My apologies, sir. It's been a, it's been a very, a very long and eventful last few days. <laughs> kind of, he drops his brush. He's just super flustered. Like, please. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> uh, it is Bernard. Certainly. Thank you. I apologize, sir. Sorry. It would, it would mean so much for our humble stable if if uh, word were to reach Cletus. And he'll uh, pass, you, pass you guys the reins. Consider it done. How do the horses look? They look they look pretty good. Not as good as when you get them from Cletus, but still, still pretty darn good. He did a pretty good job. And he goes, oh, I almost forgot the, the oat cakes. And he runs and, and grabs a little baggie of, of, of horse treats, and he'll hand it to, uh, to Alarin. They're like, please, these are for the horses. I would like this I to the climb on my horse. <laughs> okay, he'll uh, quickly scramble to grab you a stool. I'll put the oat cakes in my bag. I'm getting on my oars. I forgot which one is mine, but I'm getting it. Dandelion. It's <laughs> the one. I don't remember if I had Todd or Ted, and I had one of those two. I think you had Ted, and. I did have Ted. Darian had Todd. Alright, we ride for Elvengard. Absolutely. I'll, like, bring my horse over to the stool. To get on, because I don't feel like moving the stool. <laughs> okay, so you guys are all mounted uh, and headed towards. Now the question is, which path are you guys gonna take? The path, the either are you gonna go down? Are, are you just going straight? Uh, sorry, going straight east, Molasses? Yes. I feel like that would be the I... easier path. I don't see a path from Port the port to Elvengard, I just see the one that goes down from Lassus. We're, we're kind of like sitting on horseback. Uh, and I'm kind of like consulting the party. So, of, I I think it is our, our best bet to head east towards Lassus and then down into the forest. Plus, I personally am, am keen to get out from under the shadow of the the upper realm we did have a map right yeah just uh okay. just don't leave me too far behind being a cobalt sun sunlight is uh, not my friend well thankfully the horse these horses are seem quite capable of this staying together just by nature. I'm sure you'll be just fine. But yes, let's just head, head east. If only I had a pair of sunglasses. 
What are sunglasses? Yeah, sunglasses. Some sort of fancy doohickey? Never heard of them before <laughs> in my life. You making up I, nonsense words, Alarin? I I am making up sunglasses. Of words. It just it just I don't know. Like you know how some people wear glasses, glasses that harness the the light of the sun. Yeah, no, Ber like Bernard looks sort of... concerned. Are is, are they fit to ride such a majestic horse? They're just a little drunk, but that's okay. Uh, oh, you shouldn't ride. You'll you have to drink forgive our small companion. She had a single. <laughs> You'll have to forgive her. She had a single normal-sized ale last night, and her her Ooh, smaller gee, demeanor means two. it affects her quite quite heavily. But please, she is, I'm sure she is she is still feeling the effects of it from the night before. Pay no pay no mind to her nonsense words. Uh, please, sir, I implore you. Please make sure that the horse makes it okay. The horse will be just fine. No promises. Uh, All of the promises. <laughs> if the horse doesn't make it, none of us. Are making it. Uh, well, perhaps you should go to Shireville first, then, to to let Cletus know. Oh, uh, don't worry. We'll be back to Shireville someday. We'll be sure to pass on your name, Bertrand. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> He's like, he sort of like see tears in his eyes. Please, it's Bernard. <laughs> Whatever you say, Benedict. <laughs> yeah. Away! <laughs> you guys ride off. We seem like the drunk ones now. <laughs> we we take off before he can get another word in. <laughs> Maybe I just. Oh, Aaron, she's referring to herself. Maybe I should have just said that. Oh, man. <laughs> no, no. I've actually had a possible <laughs> who had something of a uh, glasses that could help. Uh, kind of dull down the sun a little bit. Yeah, oh, nice. glasses yes. of with tinted, uh, like tinted, tinted, tinted glass, like like stained glass to help kind of <laughs> dampen glass. the sun. It's nice out on the seas uh, <laughs> with those that we are not kind of frying your eyes. Yeah, we never we never ended up finding uh, uh, procuring a uh, um purchasing a pair um, <clears throat> in our um, travels from from my ship. Uh, but a bit Aller, and if you if you find yourself in any sort of discomfort from the light, then we could find something. A bag um, for your head, perhaps, we'll, or we'll see. A sack <laughs> over your head. <laughs> I, I, that that <coughs> <bit roll. laughs> We could we could find something, cut small holes to see through. We can borrow my perhaps. head, perhaps. And where only a I small amount like... of light comes through? Uh, yeah, but I feel like that would be worse, so... Do you want my hat? You can keep your hat. Shading your eyes from the sun. You can keep your hat. Well, we'll find you something, surely. We'll find something. Besides, we have a, a ways to go before we're out from under the... A little bit. From under the shade. Alright, as you guys leave Bernard in your dust, and you begin to make your way out of the capital to the east, uh, we're gonna we're gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. And again, we are playing this live on Twitch, so if you ever want to see any of this unfold as it happens, uh, come drop by the stream. Also, all of our players are fellow streamers, and if you like what you heard, please go check them out. They are all absolutely fantastic folks. I'll have links to their Twitch pages down in the description below as well. Uh, thanks again, and I hope to catch you all next time. Have a good one.